Okay, are they all on? Okay, we're on. Here we go, here we go. Okay, you gotta dance with me, girl. Because I know you've got moves. <laughs> you got too. We, we've got moves. Hello, hello, hello. And uh, welcome to Recipe of the Day. We have a special guest today, my dear friend and neighbor. This is Lynn Teehee. And we are going to be making some yummy Filipino things today. We are making pancit and we are making lumpia, aka egg rolls. And we are making them all. As you can see, we have prepped all the things in front of us here. So we are excited to get started. So it is a um, Filipino yumminess kind of day. So welcome. We will get started here. Let me get. You guys up in front of me so we can see who's here because we like your comments send us lots of hearts and love today because we love to see you guys here so we're going to get started with our um what are we going to start with we are going to start both of them actually at the same time okay so we will start our pancit bihon and our egg roll filling lumpia filling at the same time okay. so now we have both walk in the pan, uh, ready, heated, and we are gonna throw in our meat first. Okay. I mean, like we, you, I usually would just do it like on my rogish kind of a Filipino cook. So just bear with me to, who are traditional, but I, I would just do my own recipe. But the technique is pretty much almost the same. We are going to um, write these re recipes up after the show because. She doesn't use a recipe. <laughs> I don't measure. So okay. we just like follow, whatever. So now we will do that little bit of oil for both of them, I guess. Okay. We're throwing in the meat first, as you can see. Voila. Not voila. Hey, yet. Lisa, how are you? Welcome. Welcome. Okay, we got the pans very hot. We got them hot. Um, Sizzling hot. Before oh, you guys got here. What do you need? Oh, you show show off my spoon. Okay, you can use that one while I talk about this one. So my friend Mo, can you guys see this? She made me this custom spoon. I love you guys. Send me the coolest stuff. It says GaryAndLisa.com, and on the back it says Kiss the Cook. How cool is that? So my friend Mo made me this, and her you can follow her on Instagram at Wood Designs by Mo, and she takes custom orders. So it's coming to holiday time. And so, you can get something custom. We're making a lot of the filling because we're going to make quite a bit today. So she's putting two pounds of ground pork into the frying pan here. Yep. And then we're going to do the same thing. We are, for uh, the meat, for our uh, beef, pancit bima, we're doing a uh, combo of the pork, sliced pork, and the chicken. Oh! Okay. Okay, hold on. One gut getting away there. And then we are going to get the chicken. Okay. We got it plenty hot. Oh my goodness. So in here we have about a pound of pork loin that we cut up into strips. And then the chicken breast, two chicken breasts sliced up into bite-sized pieces. And we've got both of these very hot. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Yeah, we'll do the same thing like this. <laughs> you probably have the, the, the flip lock skill. I don't know. Like, end up, I ended up with green beans inside my stove from making the Thai food on Wednesday. The Thai food was delicious too. What did you make last Wednesday? I made the green beans and then I made a uh, chicken and broccoli um, stir fry with coconut milk. Oh, it was oh, so yummy. Sounds delicious. Yummy. And we get to eat it? Yes, we did. We ate it. <laughs> Sometimes it's gone. we never wait, you know. <laughs> hey, Rachel, how are you? We are making pancit and lupia today with my neighbor, Lynn. Lynn is, um, we've had so much fun together. She is a nurse and has been working on the front line during this whole craziness. And her husband's an ER doctor, so he, of course, has been in the craziness of this, too. Um, but they have two sons, and we've done all kinds of adventures together. And uh, it's we have the best neighborhood because we have the best neighbors. But so she's gone today making some yummy things because we always want her to make these things for us. When <laughs> we're like, we want you to make pasta, we want you to make lupia. 
So today we're making it for all of you, so we know how to do it. So yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you never have too much pepper, you know, in my world. <laughs> I love it. So, pepper. There you go. Put some salt. Okay, yum. So we get that, that going. I'll show you guys. We have some. I uh, took the, these are our egg roll wrappers that oh, yeah. I have here. And I have separated them. They're here in the towel, so they stay damp. And I have separated them because they were sticking... Together, so this is what size we're gonna make here. But I've got them here inside my little towel, moist towel, keeping um, moist. <laughs> keeping it moist. Hey yes. Kelly, how are you? Uh, oh yeah, I think Lenny did. Did you make these for my Christmas brunch? I think you did. Make lumpia. Probably lumpia. Yes. I yes. The lumpia was. I know. Yummy. Okay, so once we get the meat, oh, okay, get the meat brown, and then she's gonna throw some veggies in these. We'll do the garlic, onions, and then the veggie. Yes. Okay. You are correct, Lisa. Okay. Kind of figured, because based on what's in front of us here, we have. I'll show. I'll show you guys here. We've got shredded carrot, and then shredded cabbage, and then onion chopped, and then green onion chopped. And, oh, and then we have um, garlic and then jicama. We have half of the jicama here. And jicama, if you've never used it, it kind of looks like a potato. See, it comes with a brown skin. But it's really, yet, it kind of tastes like a cross between an apple. Yeah, it's, it's real crunchy. Crunchy, so it gives you some crunch, but it's and good. Texture, it's yes. kind of sweet and crunchy. So if you've never used jicama, if you're looking for a low carb thing to dip yeah, into almost anything, yeah. you can cut this into sticks and dip it. So jicama is a nice um, hack for low carb. So yummy. But we've got it chopped here. You can see into little bite sized pieces because it's going into the lumpia, the egg rolls. So we have two kinds of. Um, noodles. We have the rice sticks noodles, which is rice. And oh. as you can see right here, you can find this in Asian stores, Filipino stores, or any other um, Oriental uh, supermarkets. And then this one is Look like the egg noodles for stir, stir frying. Look at this. Look and this awesome. also like soup. It's yaki soba, but easy to make. You can stir fry different kinds of meat with this one and also um, vegetables. And this is a five pound bag. So imagine how much fun you could have with this. I got this one from Island Pacific. Yeah, I always want to go to this market with her and I still have never been, but I want to go on the field trip to the, to the market where she goes to buy all these secret things that she buys. But this bag, I mean, shoot, if I need to lose five pounds, wow, this is five pounds. <laughs> Too, but that's another story. So this is these are already cooked, so they're really a cool thing if you're trying to make a quick lunch for kids, since we're all you know home with kids. Um, you yes. can make it into soup. You can make it into a quick stir fry because they're already cooked. So I thought that was a really just a cool thing just for quick meals. And plus five pounds of those, that's a lot of lunches. That's only like six forty nine cents. Oh, and I inexpensive think. too. Yes. Value meal. Value yes. lunch. Yes. <laughs> Okay, oh, there's my sister. Hey, Laura. How's my hair look? Looks good, huh? <laughs> Laura did my hair this week, so I'm feeling glamorous. And there's my sister is on there, too. Hello, sister. Hi. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. We're ready to throw our next step in. I think this one needs to kind of, sometimes we can, we have to remove the, the water. That way we can uh, render the, the oil from the meat chicken and the pork, so we can go ahead and do it. Lisa's yep. ready to do it. Yeah. Can we dump it? Yes. All the way Yeah, that's it. Okay. So that way we can start um, adding the onions and um, garlic and then the vegetables. Okay. Okay. So we'll do it for both of them because this is a double, double trouble. 
That looks so good because we put the chicken and the pork loin in this pan set that we're going to put the noodles in and we're going to use these rice stick ones today. But I just wanted to show you these other ones that she brought. Um, we could have used the, those too, but today we're going to use these rice stick ones. And what I put the pot of water on because I thought you probably needed to cook these before you put them in the pan set, and you don't. She said she's just going to break them up and throw them in there, put the lid on, and they soften right up. So I'm like, right on, and even skip a step. Yep. So that's cool. A lot faster that way. Yes. So we're just going to kind of evaporate the water here a little bit before we throw in our garlic and our um, onions. Oh, there's my brother. Hello, brother is on there too. Hi, Welcome. Eric. We're making pancit and lumpia. So, yum. This is a hot, hot, hot. <laughs> oh, Laura, you're on your way out of town. See? you watching. You never know when I'm going to talk about you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. After my haircut, um, we went and had these delicious cocktails at um, Rumfish, downtown Hill. Oh, yeah, I love the place. Oh, my gosh. I love it the was place. so yummy. Yeah. It was rum and pineapple. So we just decided we were having our tropical Caribbean vacation cocktail. Since we couldn't have the vacation part, we just were going to pretend and not forget that. We're going to have a here. <laughs> oh. yeah. so once, once it's like going to evaporate, we can add okay. a... All right. Onion and garlic. Okay. Our director said we have to smile all the time. Yes. <laughs> director here. <laughs> then take a picture of the setup. <laughs> so Lynn is my travel friend. They travel all the time. All the time. They are going somewhere. Like they were in Wyoming last week. They were scaring the bison and playing with the what moose? No, no. elk. Playing with the elk. And uh, they always have so much fun and so many adventures they have had. They go all the time, this and that. And they had their honeymoon in New Orleans, so they're big New Orleans food, uh, foodies. And Libby is a foodie, totally a foodie. We love food. She is my kind of girl. I mean, we are neighbors, but we've had so much fun and so many great meals over the years. She had an amazing Roaring Twenties party here the first week of January. A full costume, Roaring Twenties bash to kick off. 2020, because so it's going to be a great year. 2020, kicking it off in style. That's right. That might have been the best part of 2020. <laughs> <laughs> What's the 20s. We have really it. roared. We, we, we roared. We roared in the 20s. But that was way back in January before the wheels, right. the wheels came off the roaring 20s in March. <laughs> oh, my God. We're so glad that we did that, right? I know. that we're trying to evaporate before we put our garlic and onions. Well, I can put some paper towels in there. You really? Get, get it out. I'll just, Are you like, what are you I'll just get it out Still your tricks there, girl. Yes. Do you guys have any questions about Filipino food while well, I have my expert here, my resident <laughs> expert? Really? Yep. I'm just kind of a it. roguish cooking here. You know? <laughs> but we love it. We love cooking, so. And we love eating even more. Exactly. Later on, what are we going to do later on? We are going to be eating and playing cards because Saturday night, COVID game night. That's what we do around here. We play cards. And so I'm adding a little bit of oil here once the um, liquids are all like kind of evaporated. And then we'll add our onions and our garlic. As you can see, it kind of added a little bit more because you know, we're doing the we're doing our own technique here. So later on we'll, we'll be giving you Lisa will be giving you her recipe. Tonight. I know. It's like I'm, I have my notes here. I'm taking notes. So I can write this down for you once we're done. So no worries, okay? If you said like the step is kinda off, it's alright, because we're like doing it like yeah. And now we've got our garlic and oil and pork loin going in there. She's so going to put some onion in both of them. So finely diced onion is going in. Yeah, I'm 
This right. one is pretty much good. I, think okay. I, I probably just add a little bit of uh, the secret sauce, um, oyster sauce. Her secret sauce. <laughs> you hear that? We it's, revealed. It's not a secret anymore. It's no, longer, <laughs> it's no longer a secret. It's an oyster sauce. If you don't like oyster sauce, just stick with the soy sauce. It's fine. So we are going to um, cool a little bit of that off here so we can Rapid. roll some. We're going to have our oh, rolling have lesson here. I will get these out of the way because we are going to give this. We are going to have our lesson here in rolling. Okay. Okay. Hold on. We get the this over here. So we have room to roll. Okay. How's the cameraman? You can see everything. I'll move these. This is the ones we're using again, these egg roll wrappers. And yes, we are making, oh hey Janet, we are making Tamsit and Lumpia. So we are making um, egg roll and stir fried no uh, noodles, which I can't wait to put in. How is it? Well, I trust you. <laughs> Everything Linny makes is always delicious. because we live in the same house, same kitchen, same appliances. <laughs> she knows how to work the appliances around here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh. Okay, oh, you so did? Janet, you live there in the Philippines? How cool. Really? How fun. Did you have a nice experience? Lenny moved here when she was 16. 19. 19. I was close. A teen. <laughs> But you went to nursing school here or there? Partly there and here. Partly there and here. Okay, here you go. Do you need what, what, what? I'm just going to stir it a little bit more. Oh, here. There you go. Okay. There you go. Yes, Lynn is queen of the theme party. <laughs> we have had more fun. She and all her friends, they have these awesome theme parties. The latest one, well, bath, the Roaring Twenties was, the, was a total bath that the husbands came to too, but before she has these tea parties, elaborate, gorgeous tea parties. And the last one was breakfast at Tiffany's and we all dressed up as Audrey Hepburn. Of course, all of us online ordering our gloves and our cigarette holder. <laughs> our, I bought a new black dress for my Audrey Hepburn and everybody looked amazing. It was so fun because everybody gets into it and everybody, um, she had the whole table in Tiffany blue and the beautiful, um, sandwiches and all the yummy things. Plus, they always bring some Filipino food too that's delicious. So, I always love her tea parties, they're a blast. So, here we go. Okay. This is the rice sticks. I'm just going to cover it, that way it'll soften up a little bit, and then we will mix it. Okay. So, I'm just putting the lid on there. She has a really nice walk. I'm going to have to check out a new walk for the show. Oh my gosh, you were stationed there. Oh wow, in the wow. Navy. They were stationed there years ago. I'm just going to move it. Yeah, just stick it on the. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, we are going to start to roll here. I'm going to get a rolling so lesson. So we are heating up the oil for our. Egg rolls. Yeah. So I'm going to get a lesson here. Okay, let's see how I do this on the first try here. Let's see. We're going to give it a roll. Like, I have my. Um, uh, the wrappers here in a wet dish towel so they don't dry out. Just like when you use phyllo dough, you need to keep them moist. Exactly. So, so we've got them here. So she put a little bit in hers, I'll put a little bit in mine too. It's just a little bit of water to seal it after you Okay, all right. Is that, is that enough? Yeah, that's okay. Good. All right. Maybe a couple of tablespoons. Depends on how big you want it to be. 
Okay, so we're going over first. Yeah. Put it in the middle. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Roll. Start. I've never rolling. made. I've never made these. So. Smile. <laughs> I should see. You should see the director. We the director. We we need to have a reverse camera. camera. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna roll it over once okay. and then fold it in on the sides. Okay. Yes. All right. On the sides. Okay. Yes. And I start think. rolling it. And okay. Then put, at the end of it, just put some water. Water. Just to Okay. It. Some glue. Yep, so glue it a little glue. bit. Okay. Glue it a little bit. Let's see. Look! So Look for the that. for the um, the wrapper, pastry wrapper, you can find this at the Go Painter store. We have different kinds. So um, just look for the pastry um, wrapper, or they call it balat ng lumpia. That's the Tagalog. So it says spring roll wrapper. Real simple. <laughs> keep, keep it simple. Keep it simple, Lenny. <laughs> okay. So oh. this is it. This is done. Okay. There you go. My, so this is ready to. Is actually yours is really good. Oh yeah. Just oh, that was really good. The teacher yeah. said it's good. So you can <laughs> move on to for the, for a second one. I'm gonna try a second one here. Just so, in case you guys missed my technique, my first try. Probably have to put it a little bit more. Because okay. Mine didn't. Didn't stick. Stick. Okay. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Now you know what I would add here if I was making them. You can add, yeah. I would add fresh jalapeno on this step. You can do that too. A I think little that's a good fresh idea to get it a kick. Because she, she and her husband too. They like it spicy because that's just how our neighborhood rolls. We <laughs> we, we roll spicy, spicy around here. Hot oh. and spicy, baby. <laughs> oh my god. Her husband's the best. He eats. He's yeah. the best. Whenever you're having a, par a, par a, par a party, we always love it when her husband Kevin comes because he will always eat everything. everything. Yes, he's an e eater. No food allergies. Just eat what you see. Yep. It's going to tell us to get that out of the camera so they can see. <gasps> That's right. Yes. Oh my gosh. Look so at you that. really have to wet no, it the way it sticks. Yeah, I don't, mine's not going to stick, I don't think. Yeah. I'm going to get it wetter. Okay, wetter on my roll up here. That's right. Okay. Well, see, hers are. See? They're pretty. We're going to fry them and see if they stay shut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay. know. We'll so, see. This one. Oh, I think it's ready to go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, don't don't burn yourself. That looks hot. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna let her do the fancy frying here. <laughs> okay, we are going to fry it in a very hot oil. It is egg rolls. Lumpia is egg rolls. It's probably gonna have to. It's probably gonna burn real quick. There we go. Okay, look at that. See, I need my roving camera so you guys can see. But so she's just putting them. Yummy lumpia, and then she brought the dipping sauce here. It's like a sweet and sour chili sauce. Sweet and sour chili sauce. Did you make this or did you buy it? No, we buy it. So it, I think you, she buys it in this huge jar. That's why she brought us some. But this is what it looks like. It um, uh, comes in the chili in a big jar. It's like a uh, like a ketchup uh, container. Uh, Filipino ketchup is that what you call that? <laughs> no, it's more like a chili sauce for um, egg roll. It smells good. As soon as I. Uh, uh, Opened it, yeah. She was telling me about banana ketchup. Do you guys know about banana ketchup? Have you ever heard of it? Gary does know about it. Gary, Gary Young, our other neighbor who's been a guest on the show, who's another fabulous cook, um, he was telling Lynn about banana ketchup, so we're going to have to investigate that. If any of you guys know about banana ketchup, let me know. Okay, this is done. Look at that. Oh good! Oh my gosh! Look how fast those fried up. Yeah, because we have a very hot, very hot pan. Um, cast iron, iron, cast iron pan. So it really works the best. Yes, I there love my cast iron. They're awesome. Is this from Roman? This cast iron? No, no. I wish. Um, I know my mom had this amazing one too, but I don't know where it ended up. Oh my gosh. Look, for the look at these. While you're tasting that, I'm going to toss this uh, these. piece. Do you guys see it. how yummy and golden brown these got in like a couple of seconds? They're very hot. I'm not going to eat that quite yet. 
Oh, yummy! So, so what we're going to do? I need another roving camera here with uh, <laughs> to show you what's happening in this one. We can just add a little. Bit. Oh my gosh, it looks delicious! Again, I would also put uh, fresh diced jalapeno on that too, but maybe that's just the California girl in me. <laughs> oh, Lenny wants to. They're supposed to know where you buy your stuff. So, where's the market? It's down. Um, I like. Pacific and it's uh, down in uh, Oxnard area. So just Google Island Pacific Oxnard. It's down at the bottom of Rose and Pleasant Valley. Pleasant Valley, yes. So that's where, and I still haven't been there yet, but I want to go. I'll take you there. But I need to go with her because she knows what to buy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yay. There you go. This is yum. You like this noodle art. I know, it looks delicious. I know, one of our other, Heather. I know, our, na our neighbor that always wants her to make it. Heather, where are you? Well, here we have a whole pan of it. Oh my gosh, it looks delicious. Let me show that before I I'm put gonna, some. Let me I'm show you guys this. I'm going to add a little this. bit more of our water. water just okay. All right. You can add chicken stock if you like. Just on, I'm just going to add water. That's fine. Okay. Yes, girl. Yep. Okay, you guys, look at this noodle dish. Yummy. This is the pork loin, chicken, um, the carrot, the noodles. Oh, we put our, our cabbage in. Yes. So then we're going to put some cabbage in at the very end. We don't want it to get super cooked. We want to keep a little bit of crisp. So she's going to put it at the very end here. And then this one, I think I'm going to cut it because it is very hot. So we don't. Let's see. Oh my gosh. This looks delicious. And easier than I thought it was going to be, oh, yeah. frankly. You just easy. roll them up and fry them. It's very, it's, it's very hot. But we will give give it a whirl here. For our studio audience. I'm adding a little bit of oyster sauce here. <coughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to taste her dip here. Oh my gosh. It smells so yummy, you guys. Don't you wish you were here? Mm. <laughs> Oh, that is so good. Yeah? Good. Mmm. Delicious. Now, dipping options on this, the hot Chinese mustard, I love that for that. Um, and this, of course, my favorite. You guys know this is my favorite. This chili sauce, I love. I would dip it in that. And then this one's a little bit sweet. Delicious, too. And for Filipinos, you like vinegar and garlic in it. In what? Just for a dipping sauce? Yes. Just those two things? Yes. Oh. Yeah. So what kind of vi uh, vinegar? Just white? Vinegar? They have this apple cider you can do it. And you can have the Filipino vinegar. Yeah. See? Tips and tricks. All right. So today, those are our things. Are we almost, we're, we're there. Are you ready? Yeah. Pan sit. And, you can uh, toss these snap. Put a, put a little cabbage in there. Um, we have great giveaways today, and I my fish is up to date. If you have liked or commented on our cooking shows, you are in the fish. And we have a couple of cooking giveaways today, and then Lenny brought a special giveaway. Um, you have to be here to win it, though, a local person here, I mean. from we, She's brought a um, gift card for a Manny Petty, um, and then a cute Filipino, let's see. You want to talk about that? Did you get it in the Philippines? Yes. This really cute. She talked about that. It's like a little bag. Little here, fill like that she got in the Philippines. Yes. Like a little makeup bag and a gift certificate. How cool is that for a Manny or a Petty? And then I have some cooking tools today. A cooking set of um, spatula and a ladle. Cooking items. And I found one more of these. These awesome barbecue mitts. These silicone barbecue mitts. Oh, that's cool. um today, and then um, the shredding uh, these things to shred meat. You can oh, shred really? pork. There's two uh, fork things in here. So this is a barbecuer's delight, and then some cooking tools, and then the gift cards. So let me um, pull out our lucky winners here out of our fish. Yay! Kind of reach in there, see who's. Who's feeling it today? And the winner is... Marcos Rico! Woo! Marcos, you're our first winner today. And the second...
second one is second winner Julie Hall winner winner and then our third our winner third today one. is Beth Thayer winner winner so yes. those are our three lucky winners today so please go to our YouTube channel Ventura Real Estate and subscribe um, and then we will put the recipes after we make them up and write them down below here on Facebook and on YouTube and I do have some birthday shout outs today and I do have my hat today All right. so I did not forget my birthday shout out hat oh Lisa so, you're so much fun birthday shout outs today yeah. to Julie Teron and Lori Ann Meyer and Robert Benz two out of three of those people are realtors by the way so happy birthday to you and then we have happy on Monday birthday. Joyce Derrickson on Monday happy birthday to you and then on Tuesday Tina Thompson happy birthday to you one of my buddies that we went to Israel together it was awesome so and happy she's a nurse birthday. too oh, she's a nurse happy birthday, so happy guys. birthday to you guys and tomorrow just so you're up on your national days tomorrow is string cheese day oh really? it is fried rice day oh. but today we made pan sit instead so similar but different um, it is pepperoni pizza day tomorrow, but most importantly, it is wife appreciation day tomorrow. Really? So make sure that you appreciate your wife, wife tomorrow. Wife. Do the dishes, <laughs> empty the dishwasher, make dinner, uh, do whatever you do to appreciate your wife. Because tomorrow, tomorrow's your day. So thank you for watching. Remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good one and always do your best. And we appreciate you watching today. It's always so much fun to have a guest. And you can try these yummy recipes um, at home, and we will post them. And always send me your pictures and send me your comments, because I love it when I get all your pictures when you guys make the recipes. So yes. we'll see you soon, live on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Thanks for watching. Thank you. And thank you, Lynn, for being my lovely guest today. Thank you for inviting yes. me. It was it's really okay. fun. Really fun. Bye. Lastly, green onions. <laughs> We're gonna spin. finish with the uh, with, with the onions. <laughs>